Hello and welcome, welcome to Vintage Matrix. I appreciate you so much for strolling through and decided to view this particular video. Um, this is the first video I'm doing for this channel. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, and please, please, please subscribe. So I just wanted to share some of the items that I purchased from like my last two trips out um, to Goodwill so that, you know, I can share them. Some of them have been very unique. I haven't found any others like them. And starting with this particular mirror, it's the Columbia Pictures logo mirror and it has the logo down the bottom it has two of the logos it looks like from what I, i'm thinking that this one up here is a logo and then the one down the bottom with the lady is also a logo so i love this mirror i haven't seen anything else like it um I paid three dollars and seventy five cents for it. It was a very good find, I think. Um, it does have a little wear on the edges, so that leads me to believe that it does have some age to it. But other than that, it's in great condition. Like I don't see anything wrong with it at all. Now, the next item that I have is one that I particularly have fallen in love with. <laughs> um, this is a 1960s Japanese frosted goblet. And if you can see the beautiful detail, it is just gorgeous. And I'm honestly debating if I'm going to keep this. I probably will keep this item for myself um, versus listing it. But anytime I decide to keep an item, I make sure that I pay the retail price that I would have. If I would have, uh, I got a piece of tape right there. If I would have uh, listed the item. But let's look at the detail here. It's beautiful. As well as on the foot. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So I do believe I will probably be keeping this one. Um, selling it will not justify. <laughs> it just won't justify for me. It's a very unique piece. Um, I've only seen one other one listed. And I found this on the bottom shelf. I'm surprised nobody else had picked this up. Because it's so pretty. Let's see the detail under the underside. It's very beautiful. And the next piece I have, I actually picked this one up today. I am a history buff. I love anything relating to history. And this is a, something that's close to home. So this piece is a particular um, product that was sold at Miller and Rhodes in Richmond, Virginia. It does have the bubble glass or the convex mirror there. It has a little hanger here. And what I really love is on the back, it still has the Miller and Rose sticker. Now, this particular item, I'm guessing 
because it has the Civil War picture, the ladies with the Civil War dress attire, um, just the convex frame or bubble glass. And then being that it was from Miller and Rhodes, I'm guessing that this particular piece was between 1860 and 1940s. Now, if someone else can narrow it down even further than 50 years, please let me know in the comments. Um, I did find an artist that did this particular, well, he has some images, some prints similar to this one, Peter Walton. But I wasn't able to find this exact print, just some similar one. So I'm not sure if this is one of his prints or not. But if you have any information about this item, please let me know. Let me know, let me know. All right, the next piece that I found, which what I thought was very pretty. You can look at the detail on here. This is a Japanese porcelain ware, ACF, plate, salad plate, I'm not sure what it's called, but um, that is what is the name of it. It's not very deep to be a bowl. And it's not flat enough to be a plate. <laughs> so I'm guessing it could be a decorative plate. Beautiful piece. And the next one that I have here, which has been baffling me since I found it in the store. This is a zodiac plate. It looks like it has bronze copper on the plate and it was made in India. That is the only marking on it. There's no other marking, um, just India. And I, I don't have any more information about this. I may have to try and do some more research. I've been researching this one for a couple of days, but it's a beautiful plate or decorative piece. It has a bird in the center and it's decorated with elephants around the edges and the different zodiac signs. Very pretty. I like that one. Now, for my last piece, I have a Jayco ceramic bisque cookie jar. Now, this is a vintage cookie jar. The detail in this cookie jar is phenomenal. I love the detail um, from the cookies on the top to the details in the bottom. Now the bottom of the cookie jar is actually a burlap bag. If you can see that, that's too cute. It has so much character. And then you have the cookies that are around the top gingerbread there and even if you flip the cookie jar top around with more cookies it's in awesome condition no chips or anything anywhere so i love this cookie jar love it this would be a great piece for a, a grandparent to have at their house for the grandchildren or a gift, a great Christmas gift for the grandkids. But this is a vintage cookie jar. 
So these are all the items that I picked up in the last couple of days that were just either unique, different, or just phenomenal. <laughs> so I love all the different pieces. I did pick up some other items, but I'm not sharing those because those are things that you can find pretty much in the store. But yes, definitely wanted to share. This is a very short video, um, but I will be uploading more longer videos than this one. But these are just quick videos to kind of go over some of the items that I got that I may not know exactly the origin or, you know, who made it or whatever. And I just want to share. But I appreciate you for joining and checking out the channel. This channel is very laid back, very informal. Um, I just love uh, sharing uh, things that I purchase with other people. So I hope that you will join me on the next video, uh, Video Matrix. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.